So this is my movie idea. So here's how it goes. There's like this gifted kid and then he's basically like saw as like a prophet by everybody around him. So what's happening in the backdrop is that there's the uh, everybody's getting hooked up to the brain chip, right? So everybody's becoming cyborgs and there's a water shortage. So on the news, there's a cyborg brain chip that you can get and essentially zoink out and upload your consciousness and become a robot or, you know, you could just sort of continue to drudge along and deal with the world as it continues to crumble around. But there's this, uh, these, there's these people who their eyes like glow and they have, and they're able to like pick up radio frequencies and they're able to like basically speak a million different languages without knowing it. They're like the star seeds essentially. So what happens is in the background, everybody's getting hooked up to the neural link. And then there's this like religious congregation that finds this kid and there's like these, uh, there's these like greasers and there's like all these sort of like, uh, you know, used car salesman type of people who are all kind of like uh, in the background too, because they all see the kid's gift. Uh, they're not actually part of the religious congregation. They just see the gift and then they're like, oh my God. So the government's trying to get the kid and then the kid's trying to get out there. So he has like, uh, and everybody's eventually has to sacrifice themselves because everybody who's around him is one of the chosen ones and they all have certain telepathic abilities and different things like that that you see throughout the show. And the Really, the kids' powers are more or less just referred to throughout the film because a lot of the people who witness them are like uh, given the, the the powers themselves. So uh, there's like these people who are like who who were in the early on uh, broke off from the religious order, and then they're trying to track them down, and then they have their own telepathic powers. So it's basically like these people who've inherited the telepathic ability from the like the alien sort of star seed kid, and they're all trying to get him out of there. But in the back backdrop basically there's the whole crackdown on people who don't have the brain chip and then there's this stigma going around about like why are normal people being organic and stuff like that and then it's like this uh, and then so really the brain chip people want to brain chip these like chosen one people because that's going to be really big important later on and they can't have this breakaway civilization of people who are uh, able to have this like telepathic ability so they're driving with the kid and they're trying to save him and then they, there's like uh, samurais and there's like all these different like underground railroad of people who they have to go through who are all sort of connected through what used to be the internet because they shut down the internet and now in order to connect to the internet you need to be having a brain chip or something so there's like a new sort of uh, crude technology that everybody's using with these like basically like piles of old 90s computers or whatever old technology because they're not making any new phones or anything anymore. In fact, they haven't made them for like the past five years, but technology is getting really advanced around everybody. And then people are forced to use cryptocurrencies and stuff like that, which are impossible to get and only really smart tech savvy people who've been following along every step of the way are able to trade with them and then those people have basically ascended to godhood and have hooked up to the brain chip uh, because they're basically dominant in the vr world so the way that the brain chip world works is that it's essentially like an augmented reality overlay and it gives the people who are in the cyborg thing their own sort of computer telepathic power which is like almost which is similar to like the organic telepathic power that the other section of the chosen one sort of people have but uh, it's more of like a machine way so what we're going to be seeing in this movie is like the split between the humans who choose to merge with technology more fully and become like the Borg from Star Trek and then we have the other characters who are like want to be more like follow the organic human uh, sort of telepathic way and then they're all competing over there's like three different factions because there's like like, you know, the, the, all the people have to sacrifice themselves to sort of get this chosen one. There could even be like three kids who are all, or three people, you know, who could, whose eyes can glow or whatever. And like, maybe they're spread around the world and we follow like all three, you know, one of them's going to be like a, um, like sort of like a sixth sense, uh, looking kid, I think would be really good for like the introduction. And then he's sort of like the one who's like the religious order is based around or whatever. And then I think the other person who would be one of the chosen, well, one of the like eyes glow 
glowing, like really uh, spark of the uh, uh, awakened sort of people would be um, like a, like sort of like a random construction worker guy. And then he has all of his buddies who come around and ha are awe awestruck by it too and inherit sort of that telepathic power. But they're using it to create like a business. So those guys are more like, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be complete humans as well. They're not going to become the Borg, but they're not necessarily good characters either. You know, we're going to say that the people who are in the religious congregation all have their own quorums and stuff like that and individual characteristics as well. But there is a certain section of them who are going to be broken off and then depicted by the film as being explicitly evil because they're trying to basically come in on our main characters who will be depicted as good because, you know, they'll be the ones who are you know, sticking to the moral values in the initial code of the uh you know their order and stuff like that and then they'll be the ones who basically are all like most relatable to the audience while they go uh try and then they're all going to be outside of their they have to like leave the shire you know since they have this special they have these people or this kid or whoever who has a special ability that they have to then take out of the shire and then they have to go sort of into the land of middle earth and travel on this quest and that would be like the hero's journey aspect of how um you know the the plot and all these different and things would unfold and you know they'd be essentially trying to take them to the mothership while the world apocalypse starts to happen and since more and more people are having this uh revelation or whatever more and more sometimes people's eyes start to glow and then they have to be Im immediately synced up to the uh brain ship no questions asked well normal people are doing this as well and more more you know normal people can't get a job without having the brain chip and all these different things so uh the film uh as, you know and then basically the president of the united states is hitler um you know it could be like sort of like a kanye west uh, Hitler type character who's leading like the you know because obviously a good movie needs to have Nazis so you'd have like the Kanye West Hitler with the Nazi army you know the police force could be fully uh, World War II style um, you know garb and all that crap and then they're trying to hunt down people and then bring them to with the uh, you know bring the brain chip and you know try and round up the chosen ones and so forth and then all the while uh, our main characters who are like a ragtag group of people are using like an old style car like a pickup truck or something like that which runs on gas which automatically makes them like a big uh you know stick out because everybody else is probably gonna have like electric cars and it'll be about like driving a car in and being a human being in the age of uh, automation and while we're seeing all these different aspects of humanity sort of being uh you know turned over to automation and like these old systems and stuff like that like banking and stuff like that all being sort of uh you know just sort of planned obsolescence sort of thing and then the planned obsolescence of the human being and then perhaps they'd go into hiding even and then we go cut to them like because i mean we're going to play with linear timelines and do flashbacks and flash forwards and stuff like that but i'm saying like perhaps the characters go into hiding and then it's like three years later and they're trying to wait out the apocalypse in the underground bunker because everybody has to go to the underground bunker because remember the apocalypse is happening and that's why everybody who's is basically just like fighting for the uh fighting for the crown while the world's um you know going to hell around them you know the the basically the uh seven horsemen of the apocalypse happening and then um you know so we end up with like 99 percent of the earth's population is wiped out um and it's only these pockets of people who each have a glowing eyes person who live with them in an underground bunker some of them are known by the government and some of them are used by the government or some of them are in hiding you know independently and stuff like that and then we have the population of cyborgs who've all been uh synced up to the computer network and all that crap and they're like the hell's army and then they're r ran by like a demonic wizard or like you know one of these like occult people who finally bring all that like illuminati symbolism and that like old forgotten like alistair crowley magic and he's like the you know and then his eyes glow red and then it's time for and then now that it's been a couple of years you know the uh sixth sense kid uh that we were talking about from the beginning who's like the original chosen one who has like the ragtag group of people who save him and you know they all end up in the bunker and he's sort of like the john connor well remember his eyes glow uh you know maybe his eyes glow different colors his eyes glow green so he's like a special one because every because the average person's eyes glow blue or or maybe everybody's eyes grow i I'm, i have blue eyes so i'm gonna say the kid's eyes glow blue and then the average awakening person's eyes uh 
the average awakening person's eyes are like green or something like that. I don't know. We could go into like the rarity of like the different eye shades too. But the point being is that like the evil dark wizard then has to fight again. And, you know, maybe this is like the original guy who broke off from the order and then, you know, the uh, went off and was like one of the leaders of like the breakaway religious order. So we could be, introduce him early on. So he's, um, you know, finally now that, you know, it's the apocalypse, the world is in shambles. The only people who are left are either people who, have, you know, we're, we're wise to this thing early on or, or we're, you know the construction worker sort of people um that guy has his own he's you know they're organic humans too but you know not by this point you know their eyes glow red too and then they're um you know telepathically connected and then they have their own army of people who are brain chipped and stuff like that because they're millionaires and they have control over all the different resources of the world and stuff like that while everybody else is looking for water because remember there's during this is during a water shortage and this is during like all the different aspects of the world world turmoil with like hunger and all these other problems are going on so we have you know our main character is like the girl um you know maybe like a couple other people like the uh the mechanic and uh, you know the welder you know real normal people who've uh you know their eyes they're the last real humans because they're not really um they, they you know they have the spark of it because they've been around these people but they haven't really fully immersed themselves it's just because everything's getting the volume turned up on it now because it's the end of history and we're watching you know now at this point it's like the last one percent of all humanity is basically um at this point where you know and this is like the prophecy and everybody's been having visions leading up to this and everything finally makes sense all the pieces fall into order and it's like the last stand between good and evil at the end of the apocalypse where we're seeing like the people who we you know we've been following from like the decay of the world and then um you know it's a lot like the book the stand with stephen king um but instead of having like some sort of uh epidemic that wipes out humanity i'm just saying that it would be like a natural progression and then perhaps yeah like i guess like you could have like a meteor shower or something crazy happening just to depict to the audience you know within like a two-hour movie and then the passage of time them living in the bunker and then coming out of the bunker but what i really thought for the final scene when it's like the final showdown is like you know perhaps it'll be like some specialty item or like they need the last they need the person with the rare eye color because they have everybody else hooked up to the uh, machine, let's say. So they have everybody hooked up to the um, the brain chip uh, shit and then even including the other chosen ones and stuff like that who've all been co-opted, tricked, or bought out at this point. And they're all owned by the evil construction worker guy who's become sort of like the demonic opposite end of the wizard um, you know, spectrum. And then, so he's uh, coming to the, um, to the bunker or whatever. It'll be like a church or a castle and there, he's on like a bulldozer or he's on like a backhoe or like some sort of like construction worker equipment. And there's like people on motorcycles who are all dressed up like you know demonic freaking brain ship people as well and they all have uh like machetes or, or just like crude weapons and it's like the end of the lord of the rings where it's like the final battle of Minas Tirith with the uh technology sort of like dystopian uh cyberpunk freaking army of like mohawk um what do you call them uh you know that movie with mel gibson there um the road warrior sort of people all come but they're all brain shipped and hooked up to this like fallen like old technology is what I was talking about earlier, but now even the brain chips are old, you know, because you know how your phones just keep getting older and the fact that the grid fell off, now they haven't been able to update their brain chips. So these people are zig, 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 wigging out with their brain chips and stuff um, you now, but they're still following their old order and all that crap. So they're coming to try and assimilate the last people, but they all know that this isn't part of the plan or whatever like that. So yeah, so it's like the final battle between the people who have good intentions and want to safeguard the final spark of what makes humanity good. Uh, versus like the people who want to co-opt it at the last second and but we all know that it's like the countdown to the specific day that was like known in the Nostradamus prophecy let's say and then everybody knows that this date is coming and if this date finally comes then it, it's over it's the it's you know it's the real rapture and people and if they don't actually reach that real rapture as authentic human beings or they're not able to present the person with the divine gift to connect to the higher level consciousness which we'll say is like the aliens because right now all this is been happening on earth is just a test to see if the chosen ones can defeat the obstacles of the people who have the brain chips and then basically merge you know go and meet with the most high and use like the crystal item that they've also had to find along the way and use like the you know the divine magic and you know and of course it's you know of course you know invoke the forgotten order so that's my idea for like a movie um it would have like a you know sort of like a quentin tarantino aspect to it too with like really good dialogue i just like don't have enough time to really write 
break this down and like flesh out the characters. But my favorite character, well, I have the characters in my mind. Just, I mean, writing it down on paper is just tedious because it's easier just to tell you guys this. So the, so the, so the main, uh, the main villain is the mayor, you know, he's like the mayor. And then that's what we're going to call the guy who's, you know, the, the main villain who was like the break off guy, you know, there's him, there's the construction worker and stuff like that. But then there's like the mayor and he's like the guy who's on the bulldozer and he wants everybody hooked up to the brain chip real bad um, because he's the mayor, you know, that's his job. He wants every, that's just what his job is. And everybody in the movie plays their role. You know, the people who are the awakening people are just, that's like all their dialogue is just about awakening stuff and every character in the movie doesn't have an arc everybody just stays exactly the character that they're meant to be and only in like they're all like one-dimensional characters except for a few and then those people will really stick out and then move the, the plot from point to point but most people are going to be npcs even like people like who are critical within the plot actually are going to be npcs and the real main characters are going to surprise you at the end and those are going to be and that's all going to come to the you know and that's for the surprise ending you know because i mean you know we don't really know what going to happen on the date that everybody's been waiting for you know we're like oh is it aliens is it this is it the rapture is it all that other stuff but you know it is at the end of history and people and everything's amplified so you know we reach this point now at the end um and it's like uh yeah the mayor and then we have like the priest and then there's a dude with an eye patch there's like a couple dudes with eye patches dude and like and there's like wizards and stuff like that and people on motorcycles and you know and then there's like the de declaration of the new order and like the dude's yelling and through a microphone as just yelling at everybody just like the resistance is futile you will assimilate to the to the system and all that crap and then it would be like you know because like then you know the, 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 we'd have like the you know the remnants of the old old civilization you know the way that like the the uh because it was like at the end of civilization so it would sort of mirror our own and like look very similar to like a lot of the different aspects of what our society is like and stuff like that you know at the end of history and stuff like that sort of like the fall of the roman empire and then like the bastardization of the technology that we have available to us and then are forgetting how to use it and then people trying to maintain that sacred mystery magic and you know basically hide away in a bunker and maintain what makes them human although at the same time becoming human itself might even be obsolescent and it's like looking into the void you know take heed not to become the void or you know the void looks back at you sort of thing like that so uh that's my movie pitch if you guys think this is a cool movie uh give it a thumbs up